One of my favorite ways to make content is actually using live streams and Ecamm Live makes that super simple while letting it be professional at the same time. In this video, I'm actually gonna be cutting over to a live stream that we did where in real time, I was able to show you not just how to replace the background with the photo or video, but actually use the brand new preview mode and do that in real time if you needed to. And of course, this works when you're also trying to set up your stream before you ever go live. So let's dive in. Let's say I wanna bring in and have something back there, all right? I don't know why I said back there like that, but like I said, English is my, my native language. I just may not always say it right. But I'm gonna find a video file here and I'm going to bring that in. And so yes, you can do 4K videos, you just need to have the bandwidth for it. Um, so for my Buy Me A Coffee members, let's say I wanted to have a photo. So I can go down here and click show in background or drop this, drag and drop it. And so now that image, whether you have it cut out to fit the overlay for something like this or whatever, you can now have that where it shows in the background. So that's a photo option. I also could do a, a video. So I'm going to bring in my own B-roll, same thing, drag and drop. And now I'm gonna bring this back here and I'm actually gonna hide that one. So now the B-roll that I was doing from my trip uh, out of town is now playing in the background and that can loop. It could be, you know, your own, own piece of video content that you have if you're wanting to just have something to have a little bit of an effect, whatever. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys as well is that works when you're in preview mode. So let's bring preview mode back up and you'll notice this is the preview mode and this is the live one. So otherwise the viewers, if I wasn't showing you the uh, behind the scenes version, the viewers would only see what's here. But I'm gonna do like I did before, show you the backside and then show you what it would look like if you were just viewing it and didn't know what I was doing. I wanna take this same video that I recorded and I want to create another scene here. So I'm just hit this duplicate button. And I wanna say, let's say this is B-roll. Let's say I was planning, um, to talk about a new camera come out or something like that. So now I'm gonna take that same video file, drag it, drop it on here. And what happens is the people that would be watching the stream, they aren't seeing this. One thing you do wanna be wary of is that if I mute this here, this mutes the whole thing. You don't have the individual audio controls like that. So when I hit, so be careful if you're trying to like, oh, but I don't want them to hear, if anything, you can adjust this and bring that slider down on the video file. If you're concerned about that, or if you feel kind of afraid a little bit, not sure if that's gonna work, do that. Some other things that are new with the version 3.8, um, like we could always do like the loop video, go to the next scene or end broadcast, which we don't wanna do. I'm just gonna say loop video, and I can start playing that video. And then if I'm saying, okay, I wanna show you guys the new unreleased, never before seen Comica Boom XD, and then cue that up just like that. Then I could have access to that. And then I say, oh, okay, I'm done with that video. And I wanna come back to the screen and say, okay, now before we go over to the next bit or whatever, so I could have that queued up. So let's do that in real time. So as if you, we were not in the behind the scenes mode, I'm going into preview mode. So now you as the viewer, you're not seeing behind the scenes. And now I'm telling you, <laughs> we're gonna go into the never before seen uh, footage of the Comica Boom XD. So right now you're taking a look at the most incredible B-roll footage shot on the Sony ZV-1, but that is all that I'm gonna show you right now. So until we finish that video, like. You know what I'm saying? Like you can control the flow versus saying, oh, hold on one second, it didn't play or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you got filler time if you need to. So this makes it super simple to replace the background if I'm doing multiple different types of recordings or live streams. In addition to if I needed to do something in real time, just so I can smooth over the process without feeling like I'm fuddling around. So let me know, how do you plan to maybe use the, the background replacement feature? Would you do a photo or would you do a video? And have you tried out preview mode yet? Let me know down in the comments. But with that guys, with a passion, I'll see you in the next video.